So you, you had to adapt a screen or well, a draft a comic book yes. from two guys that are, I will I'll call one a legend and one an icon. Absolutely. Um, what, I, I don't want to ask what your process is, but, but technically, how do you do it? Just a, just a technical. Technically, oh, well, I think you first look at the story as a whole and um, decide which bits absolutely form the backbone of it and that you want to keep and uh, and uh, where you want to change it. But what was weird about this was, in fact, Mark hadn't actually finished writing the story when we started to adapt it. So it was a really interesting process whereby he'd written the first four issues and knew where he wanted the story to end. But, um, but it wasn't all laid out there, so it was very different to uh, other. Uh, I mean, uh, the last movie I adapted was Stardust, which is obviously you know an, uh, by another icon, um, and uh, you know, but that was you know a, a novel that was a whole entity and had been in existence for ten years already. So this was a very different process, really, where it was a lot more open-ended, which was absolutely a, a delight. I'm always interested to know what else do you write. What side screenplays? Do you write? Do you write poetry? Do you write things like oh, that? Me. Um, well, right now, screenplays are taking up all my time because I also, um, I also sort of uh, go in on set and uh, you know, so that's kind of a good amount of time out of your life. But I mean, in the past, as a professional writer, I've, I've written pretty much every every area, you know, non-fiction, fiction, journalism. Uh, I haven't written poetry since I was very young, I confess. But uh, no, I think I'm too scared to do that anymore. Thank you very much for stopping with us.